Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. How are you? Good. You right? Good to see you. Rory. Thank you. Camera's all good at the back, yeah? Cool. Rory, over to you. Hi, Ben. Um, if you could sort of rewind 24 hours to sort of midway through the evening session yesterday, how, how do you rate England's position in the game from, from where you were midway through that session yesterday? I think from then, what were they, 300 for three? Um, very happy we'd have taken that. I don't know how many, I think it was maybe 100 for seven. You know, the bowlers, you know, from a position where they were in where could potentially go on and get 500 and make it extremely tough for us. I thought we fought back so well. Um, yeah, and then the way we batted there was, was, was amazing. I think we're in a great position. Um, tomorrow morning is going to be a huge session in this game. Um, you know, if we win that, I think we'll be in a... I think we'll be on top. On a personal level, 98, a, a sort of a really impressive knock, really, but just just short of that that headline knock. Uh, do you do you, you allow yourself any disappointment, or are, you, or are you pretty happy with how you turned out today? Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because at the start of the day, I'd have been over the moon if I was offered 98, but you know, falling so close to scoring three figures here at Lords. Um, yeah, I'm 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 obviously gutted about that, but. I'm really happy with how I played throughout the innings. I thought it was certainly my best innings in an England shirt. So, um, yeah, you know, I was gutted for half an hour after. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how I played. Can you take us through the conversations out in the middle in that phase where Lyon went off the pitch and they started bombing you with short balls and really, uh, as, a, as a group, you decided to take them on and, and keep, the, keep the strike moving and, and keep the game on and, I guess, keep throwing a few punches back at them, can you just tell us where that, you know, where that came from, was it just your style to, to not back down? Yeah, I mean, there wasn't really any discussions, um, you know, everyone, I feel like, individually went about it differently, um, I actually, for the first over or two, I started trying to kind of give myself room, you know, try and um, kind of improvise really, but, you know, I then went actually, I actually play the short ball pretty well um, you know I'm just going to try and kind of tap it on the head and, and get down the other end and if it goes in the gap for four then brilliant um, you know Brookie came in and, and did what Brookie does um, you know and then Stokes who was so calm at the other end and you know even Popey Popey said I'm going to you know get that side of it and smack it into the stands and I said go and do it you know if so unlucky to get a get a toe ender there and you know if that's anywhere near the middle or even the top edge it's going miles back for six so yeah it's it's the way we we play our cricket I feel like if you know they're going to have plans like that and we're going to go in our shells and you know just get bombed out and people around the corner that would be going totally against what we do um, I'm not sure about the figures but I've, I'd imagine we were probably going at four five and over even throughout that period so you know I'd, we lost a couple of wickets but you know, I think, as I said earlier, we're, we're in a good position. And, and how much does the injury to, to Lyon, do you think, change the, the tone of this game if he, if he isn't able to bowl against, say, and, and even potentially further than that? Because I guess the team would want their fast bowlers to have to just keep charging in because they, they can't hold an end, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's a huge shame, and I, I really hope it's not too bad for him. Um, you know, you never want to see anyone go down with an injury, so, you know, we, we all wish him the best. Um, but he was going to play a massive part in that fourth innings. You know, he's such a good bowler, and, you know, so it'll be interesting to see how they go about it. I mean, if they keep going bumpers with all four bowlers, I think they'll be quite tired by the end of it, So especially with back-to-back -back tests. So, yeah, I mean, Travis bowled all right tonight, so maybe he'll bowl a bit. Ben, could I ask about how you kind of built into this series and um, kind of quietish test at Edgbaston, I suppose, and then get some runs today and how you kind of felt you've improved through those three innings? Yeah, I was a bit gutted really with the last test, obviously, flat pitch and a pitch that I would kind of like batting on. And um, I felt like my two dismissals were a little bit frustrating because they're, they're my strengths. Um, I actually went back to Knotts and had a good hit with Pete Moores and Ambo for this week just to kind of, you know, see coaches who know my game very well. And, yeah, we just kind of worked on a couple of things. And, you know, obviously today I was kind of back to slashing it over Gully rather than nicking it to Gully. So, um, yeah, that's the game as well. You know, they've got a very good attack. And at the top of the order, I'm, I know how hard it's going to be. Um, 
yeah, so not a great deal of change. Um, yeah, and I obviously from kind of ball one today, I, I felt fairly good, and my game has been in, in pretty good order all summer. I'm just kind of tweaking things here and there, you know, obviously playing against different pace and, and stuff. But yeah, I was really happy with how it went today. Mel, George, and Mike. Um, England obviously like to move the game on, and that's part of the, the whole approach. When Lyon went off, though, was there ever a sort of thought of, okay, the quicks are on now, they're expending a lot of energy, we could actually set some real things up here and, and tire them out? And yeah, looking forward ahead to the rest of the series, you, I'm sure you know that a lot of people were kind of questioning that. So, uh, what do you say to them? I mean, I think I was in about 90 and I don't know what was going through my head. So, you know, when you're, when you're that close to scoring 100 and stuff, it, it wasn't even like, oh, Lions gone off and it was just like, oh, they're bowling bounces, you know, like we weren't even really discussing, you know, I obviously batted a Popey and then Ruti and not a lot of chat, you know, just individually, how do you want to go about this? It's, it's the kind of fun environment we're creating. If you want to back away and hit it over cover for six or, or do whatever you need to do, then, then go and do it, just commit to it. Um, you know, even, you know, Popey, you know, no one in that dressing room will be disappointed with how he got out. Everyone would just be a bit gutted it didn't go for six. Um, so, I don't know how many overs they end up bowling, but I imagine they'll be pretty tired anyway. George, Mike, and then we'll finish with Stefan. Uh, with these stats about you leaving the ball, basically never leaving the ball, uh, when they came out, did they surprise you, first of all? No. You were aware of that. That that's, is that a conscious effort because it obviously goes completely contrary to what we thought opening batting was twenty years ago or whatever. But is that something you made a conscious effort and really thought about, or it's just developed that way? That's exactly how I play in county cricket. I always make jokes about never leaving the ball, and sometimes I don't know how I'm getting runs because of it. But I think that's. If I think back to maybe three years ago, I kind of believed I could never be an opener in Test cricket because of how I play. And then actually last summer I was like, why not? You know, why do I have to bat like Sir Alistair Cook or, or you know, these greats, the openers in the past? You know, I kind of had that backing from Stokes and Baz to go and play how I play. Um, yeah, and the only reason why I'm not surprised is because I've changed nothing from playing county cricket to this. You know, I, I don't leave many balls in county cricket and that's probably because I'm, I like to cut and drive and, and play the ball out there. So... Um, yeah, it, it doesn't surprise me. Are you aware of how many you left today? Yeah, I was gutted actually, I think it was two. Because uh, one of them was wide, wasn't it? One you, of them was, should have been a wide. Gutted. Yeah. And the other one was probably over my head, so yeah, I was gutted. <laughs> Mike and then Steph to finish. Ben, no. Sorry. Ben, well batted. I don't want to rub it in, but do you regret taking on the shot when he got out or only the outcome because as you said it on another day it might have gone a dozen rows back and you'd have got that hundred no not at all um i'd have been gutted with myself if i'd have gone away from it and gone into my shell and glove onto the keeper behind um you, to be honest for three or four overs leading up to that i felt so comfortable just hitting it down to fine leg or the man just behind square for one um you know and 10 meters either side of him now i've got 100 um so, you know, I'd only have been disappointed if I'd have gone away from my natural game. And it's a shot that I play, and it's a shot that I've scored plenty of runs over the career with doing. So, um, I'm not happy I got out, but I'd rather get out like that. Stefan, this side. Uh, ben, you've, you've said before that there was a time when maybe you thought you'd never play Test cricket for England again, and we all know the road that you've taken to get back into the team. You've now got the, the fifth best average of any opener to have played for England. You just talk about the success that you've had since coming back into the team since December and if, if even you've been surprised at how well it's gone. Yeah, um, I think that's because until you perform at this level, you probably have doubts in your own mind whether you can do it. Um, yeah, and obviously the Pakistan series was a great place for me to go and start and obviously get that 100 first innings and kind of go from there. Um, yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is I've not changed the way I've played. You know, I've come into this and with a smile on my face and just played like I'm, I play for knots. Um, 
I'm certainly a better player than I was back then. I can, you know, I can back my defence for periods. You know, for example, Lyon today, I, I felt like he wasn't really giving me much, and I was scoring at the other end. And if you'd have said that four years ago, I'd have said I can't believe that. I'd have had to have gone at the spinner because I'd have thought, you know, my defensive game against the scene wouldn't be as good. So, yeah, I'm just trusting my game now. I'm, I'm also at a stage where I know that I need to get better. You know, this level of cricket is so hard and, you know, it doesn't get much harder than playing against Australia. But um, I'm always trying to improve and like that's why I went back to Notts this week and seeing coaches who know my game inside out and kind of getting that, you know, you know, they was kind of saying, just trust your game, you know, just 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 play your way and stuff. And, yeah, and that's it, really. I'm just trying to become a better player all the time now. Um, and within that, stick to stick to my strengths. You did have a little spell back at knots in the nets in between the in between the first two in these two two tests. Yeah, we we obviously had a few days off, and I obviously said to Trez, "I'm just going to go back and take my kit and have a hit." And um, it's it's sometimes nice in a way. I'm relatively fresh into this group, so you know, a big part of where I am today was is Pete Moore's and Ambofa, and and they know my game so well. And you know, sometimes just hearing you know what they have to say and kind of as for me as a player is quite refreshing um so you know i didn't necessarily need to but yeah i thought it was a good good opportunity to go and go and hit some balls back there cheers ben thank you thanks cheers, cheers.